So again, let's look at this first term to factor. We want the prime factorization of this. As it turns out, and I'll write this here, right? We got 3z. 3 is prime already. So, and there's only one z. So this is just really 3 times z. Nothing fancy about that. Now let's look now at 21xz to the fourth. 21xz to the fourth. Uh, maybe you guys don't like the factor trees. I mean, it's really up to you, but 21 is not too bad. It only has two factors, and they're both prime, 3 and 7. If you don't 7. like the factor tree, what's the other option? If you were to factor these out, right, and you said, well, this is 3 and 4, so it's 12. I mean, you could factor out the 4, but we see that the 3 and this 3 are already common factors. So I don't know if that helps, but it may be... A, tiny bit of a shortcut well those are the prime factors so I've got 3 times 7 times X times 4 Z's and now let's look at common factors so we're finding our greatest common factor which goes on the outside of the parentheses I've got these threes and then I've got these Z's so 3 times Z uh, the 3z has nothing else left, so I've got the 3z, that's my common factor, greatest common factor. And uh, in place of 3z, which I actually took out of that expression, I need to replace with a 1. And then the sign we had was minus. So, now, in purple what was left, I've got a 7, I've got an x, and I've got three Z's. That's it.